Hey, what's up, world? It's Jerry Goins here. How y'all doing out there? Listen, I heard gas prices is going up, so I had to put something together for y'all because people going crazy out there. It's a crisis. I don't know how, how I'm going to fill up my Chrysler, you know, but uh, let me tell you something. Stop putting E&J in the gas tank. Y'all tripping just because E&J is cheaper than a gallon of gas. I don't know. I don't know what y'all doing out there. It needs to stop. Anyway, put together three ways for y'all to actually get over this gas crisis, okay? Uh, number one, I need everybody to resist inflation, okay? Inflation just basically means the dollar loses value as time goes on, you know, and people's pay ain't going up, but the dollar, <laughs> the dollar's going down. So you got to work harder for that same dollar. How do you get ahead of inflation? You have to own products, okay? You have to have a business. You have to sell something. So, for example, we sell something like uh, identity theft protection for seven ninety five, um, and that's seven ninety five a month. And I get a customer there. I get a commission every month for seven ninety five. All right, they pay that. Now, no matter how hard they have to work for that seven ninety five, guess what? I still get paid the same. Okay, that's because I'm ahead of inflation right now. There's too many people that just don't have any income, any products to sell that has that full value of the dollar. And they end up getting behind inflation and they end up paying other businesses as inflation goes up, just like gas. So um example, own a gas station. You know, do you think that they worry about inflation? No, because as the gas prices go up, they just make more money. <laughs> you know, so uh, number one thing is resist inflation. Get your own business. You know, sell some products. Number two, as a home-based business owner, okay, you get to write off your gas or your mileage. Either way, me, I choose to do mileage because it's just easier to keep track of. Okay, so I get back this year. I think it's fifty-four and a half cents per mile or something like that. So, for example, when we went to Miami, that was like uh, eighteen hundred miles, something like that. You know, just going down there. Willing, dealing, having fun, road tripping with the wife, you know. When we got back, I had my business phone deducting gas mileage the whole time. Now, we got something called a cash flow manager app, which I'll tell you more about. It's pretty cool. I'll show you I get it for free. But uh, it actually will get, uh, track your gas mileage. So you get in the car, boop. You say track mileage. You get to wherever you're going. You come back. You say boop. Stop tracking mileage. You had to put in what you did now, okay? Because IRS just wants to know who, what, when, where, why. So, the app does all the work for you, but you it doesn't know why you did it. So you just have to put in, you know, conference or met with prospect or went prospecting or, you know, uh, had a family reunion. And while we were there, we talked business. So it was a business occasion. So I put that in too. Uh, you know, all that's totally legal. You know, you just had to have the intent behind that to do business. Okay. And you get to write off your gas mileage. So that trip ended up being a $900 tax deduction just in gas. I mean, just in mileage alone. And only paid like two hundred dollars in gas. Okay, so that's how. That's another way that you can get over this gas hump. Is to write off your mileage. All right, now number three, stay with me. Now I hope I ain't losing anybody. I'm trying to make this under five minutes, so stay with me. Jeez, the attention span is like a two year old. Anyway, number three, what I need y'all to understand is you have to shift your income. Okay, if you get a check, so you're you're going to work for a check. If you can put two hundred to eight hundred dollars back per month in that check, wouldn't you want to know how to do that? Couldn't you use that money to not only put gas in your tank, but pay, make your car payment or actually accelerate your car payments and pay your car off completely? Now you don't have a car note at all, so you have to pump smiling because you ain't got to pay for the car. And other person over here, not only don't ain't they shifting their income, not only ain't they writing off their miles, you know, not only ain't they got no products that they can sell to make money, they just over here just, just filling up their tank and they just looking all sad. They're like, you know, can't believe this. It's my last dollar. And you up here, you ain't got no car, no, no nothing because you shifted your income. Okay, we show you exactly how to do that. Completely legal. The IRS even recommends that. Okay, so, oh, and there's, there's a fourth way. Bonus, bonus round. <laughs> all right, so the fourth way is, hey, you don't got to commute to work. Okay, work from home. All right, so... You know, you don't have to travel 40 miles there, 40 miles back, 20 miles there, 20 miles back, rush hour traffic, lunch traffic, you know, all of that. You work from home, just pick up the phone, dial up your people, go meet with your prospects. And when you're going, you get to write off that gas mileage, okay? Um, only thing you can't do, you can't write off your mileage to work because that's not a business activity. But that's about it. Anyways, I just gave you guys three ways and a bonus round. Bonus! All right. <laughs> I had to get over this gas hump. If y'all enjoyed it, share the video. If you want to know more, 
just go to uh, paychecks to assets.com or get back to the person who's sharing this with you because they probably know something about home based business that you can get started for as little as $34.95. Other than that, peace out. Oh, I forgot I had a hat on. There we go. Peace out. Boom. <laughs> peace.